Hi everybody, welcome back to Natural Vibing Red. I'm Natalia. I'm Natalie. And uh, today's a very special day because we finally got all the parts in, which means that we can actually get somewhere with rebuilding the Beamer. Oh wow, I actually need the turn. Okay, so anyways, so here's, here's the old head gasket, which is, you know, what we think is the super problem because look at it, it's kind of really nasty. And then here's the new one. And here's the new one. So as you guys can see, like that one's really, it's, 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 it's broken. It's, it's, it doesn't work. <laughs> but anyway, so we got this new one. Oh my gosh, it's falling out. But we got this new one that we're gonna replace. And then we also got a few other things. We got, these are the old head bolts. And then we got some new ones in here. Can you see them? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. And then this one's the old one exhaust. Of, one of the old gasket. Head yeah, gasket. one of the old um, exhaust manifold gaskets. And then this one's the brand new one. As you guys can see, like this car was in desperate need of these parts be able to run smoothly so with that being said with that being said now we're gonna start putting all this stuff back together and then hopefully once we do finish it it'll start running and then we can learn how to drive stick which that means what we can learn what how to drift wait like this no. yes I'm aware and I'm having trouble with this okay do these parts yeah I know so like this, right? How I had it. Yes. But we only go through one way. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do I just like slap it on there? Like, yeah. are you recording? Is it supposed to go like over that? Wait, hey, go down. Click everywhere. We took, I already forgot what it's called. Manifold. A manifold. We took the this, exhaust. The exhaust. Okay, the exhaust manifold. We took this out because it was, um, it's supposed to be like wedged, like right in here, but it kept getting caught on the on the head. So now, honestly, I don't really know how we're gonna put that back in, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, Nani, what are we oh. doing, Miss Natalie? Um, we're putting on the head, the the head bolt, and so we have to put in the spacer in there. But it's like a, a squeeze. It's a tight fit. Yeah, it's a tight fit because the bolts are new, right? No, not really. no? Oh. no, it's a tight fit because Wait, you still eyes. have this on where the cams go, but if we take them off, it'll be a pain to put them back in there. Uh, the more you know. What the heck is going on? Oh. She got it, she got it. Did you get it? It's kind of crooked.
So as we were um, twerking, twer twer twerking. <laughs> we weren't twerking. <laughs> we were twerking. As we, <laughs> anyways, as we were doing that to the bolts, um, we found out that the five and seven, their thread is um, stripped. is stripped. So then we took a look back at this, and you can actually tell um, where it like burned like through the thing because it wasn't held down how it should have been so yeah so now we i don't really know what we're gonna do i think we're gonna try and find like a little kit or something to where we can like re-thread and then put the bolts back in there so it can actually hold down so this won't happen to the new head gasket that we just put in yes yes Anything hopefully we can <laughs> find um one that's like three dollars <laughs> I don't know, supposedly I thought I just found one and then it was like five hundred dollars. If that's the case, this car is a gone. That's okay. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to Nats for Five and Ride. I'm Natalia. I'm Natalie. And uh, today, with a little bit of help, we are re-threading the, the block. We're re-threading the block, and here's what we're gonna be using: some tape, some tape. This is focusing. I think you gotta get like this. Well, that yeah. this one we use to make a like a drill bit. Okay, a drill bit, heavy duty. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, we used it to make like the little hole bigger, so then we could stick the other one. So then we could. This isn't the right tool. What are you talking about? The other one. The other one. Where'd it go? This one. There we go. This one. So then we could stick this in it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this a, a tap, and this is to actually read the Reddit. And then we also use can you grab that the red thing? Yeah. So then we also put a little bit of that on this thing to make it go in easier. And then we have the the insert. I don't know if you guys you guys can see like it's like two different sizes here. So then this is what's gonna help actually for the bolt to go in so then the engine can actually run because everything's threaded and then that way our head gasket won't blow out again and hopefully this is the last of our problems <laughs> so don't let your vehicles overheat yeah don't let your vehicles overheat then you're gonna what how do you say it how would you say it like when they lose the thread oh strip it yeah, when the engine overheats to a point, it strips the threads out. Yes, yes, that is the correct terminology. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we also forgot the, um, to mention that you do need some the red lock. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it like right here on the insert, and then you're gonna put it in the, oh my gosh, the block, in the block. And then this has to like set for 24 hours, so then we'll see you guys in 24 hours. Thank you. Okay, so with the thread lock, what you're gonna do, don't squeeze too much out of it. And then you're gonna do it on one side. Yeah, stick it on every single thread, right? Just go from the top to the bottom. I missed some. That's okay. Okay, and then you're gonna flip it 180 and then you're gonna do the same thing. Oh, I feel like that was too much. Is there such thing as too much? No, that's good. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little bit on both sides. And then now we can put it in the block. Okay, so we um put the time certs in there and i don't know if you guys can tell but they are still in there and um that's just what we need to dry for 24 hours so it can like so it can do what so it can cure so it can cure so it can cure and then we can put um the head back on and like all the bolts and all that type of stuff because now that is re-threaded you guys and not for 500 dollars <laughs> Everybody, this is 24 hours after we installed the time certs. That's all in there. It was perfectly fine, but we did went, run into like a little slight problem. 
um, with some screws, some, some different screws on the block. Um, this one broke inside of the block. So um, we had to, I'm gonna try to show you guys this as best as I can, but we had to like drill. I don't know if you, you guys can see that little hole. We had to drill into it so we could take it out. And then so that's what we did. So now, now it's good. So now what we're doing is we're gonna put, um, so far we put the head gasket back on. And then now we're gonna put the head back on to here and then um, retwork everything and hopefully get further along with this project. Okay, so now that everything's rethreaded, we're gonna put these right back in. And remember, you have to put this clean side facing down in the um, in the head and then like stick the bolt like straight in through there. Okay, so after this clip, um, we completely, like, it completely, like, missed our minds to put the actual camera to record because we were on a live on TikTok while I was doing this. Um, we did re -twerk everything, and after we did that, we found another stripped thread. So we had to take everything back out and fix that. And um, we just we came to an agreement that we're just gonna put like inserts into all the holes, even if they're not stripped, just to prevent that from happening again um, for a fourth time because three times is enough. Honestly, the first time was enough, but we ended up doing it three different times. Um, but yeah, so that's all we have for you in this video today. There is a little short um, explaining um, what happened that day back on our channel if you guys want to go watch that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.